hello guys uh, welcome to the rendering section uh, usually uh, rendering is a kind of uh, operation which we would uh, uh, perform to uh, give some attractive colors for our uh, assembly okay uh, usually uh, adding some rendering effects would attract the uh, uh, viewers okay uh, monotonous uh, view doesn't attract viewers with the advent of new technologies and new software uh, capabilities we can do more rendering options for our assemblies okay uh, for that we shall uh, start with the base plate since it is a base plate we can give some uh, we can provide some effect as uh, older one like a uh, we can give some uh, brown color so first you select the respective part so uh, uh, for more uh, uh, accurate results i would suggest you to select the part over the model tree so part 9 is our base plate you can see that the uh, edges are being highlighted on, on green color right once it is done so you can go with the appearance section over here uh, you just open the drop down menu by clicking the arrow you can see more options are available so here it would uh, the third one be more uh, uh, apt okay just select it you can see that the base has been changed to some leather like structure okay uh, now we shall go for the support the support which uh, carries the crank uh, part 4 right yes it is part 4 you can give it a we shall give that a marble color right right okay for the crank uh, i think crank is part 5 right yes part 5 is crank uh, you can give it a somewhat uh, pink color okay uh, we can leave the central branch as such uh, now uh, we need to visualize the uh, reciprocating action of the uh, piston so uh, but the piston uh, resides inside the cylinder so if the cylinder is uh, opaque in nature we can't see the reciprocity action of the uh, piston right so we can change the material of the uh, change the appearance of the cylinder to transparent we can reduce the opaque uh, nature and make it a more transparent such that we can visualize the inner side of it right what's inside we can visualize so first you select the cylinder right uh, for that i think uh, we shall first select it uh, part uh, okay part 8 is the cylinder once you've done so you open the appearance you go for uh, more appearances once you open more appearance uh, a dialog box would appear under the dialog box uh, you under the class you select it as glass right once uh, the glass has been set up you can vary the transparency now it is 0.9 so we can reduce it to some point uh, under 1.8 okay once it is done so you just close it now you can see that the inner objects are uh, more visible okay such a way we can also introduce uh, transparency nature to our uh, parts okay now we shall model the uh, piston for piston is just to select the piston part uh, what it, ah, okay part seven right so once you select the parts uh, you go to uh, there's uh, no such a way like uh, we need to select from the available colors we can also create our own colors from the uh, color palette for the colored palette to, to open you can go to more appearance under that uh, you can see the color is being set up to some default one you just select it uh, you can see uh, that we can open the color wheel open the color wheel now we can uh, perform any color up. Uh, you can give any color as per you wish so i think now i can give some purple okay close right for the elbow section you can just select that one part one i think or oh, part two okay once you set up the part one part two once you selected the part you go to appearance and similarly uh, if you are not uh, so happy with the one you can open the color wheel and you can select that one but now i can give some cold like structure 
Hmm. Okay, now only the connecting rods are pending. For the connecting rods, you just select part 3. Okay, now this connecting rod has been selected. You open it and give some random, random colors. Uh, we shall give some blue color, right? For the opposite connecting rod, we can provide um, some green would be nice. These all are rubbish, we can change as per our taste, right? Uh, this is the basic uh, rendering operation, okay? Uh, in the next uh, session, yeah, we will see how we could uh, simulate the assembly. Okay, uh, we shall see the next one. Bye bye.